Hello, dear High Vibe Tribe. Colette Stryker here. Uh, I am so happy to have you with us today. It's Tuesday here in the United States. It's Wednesday in Australia and all around the world. There are different times and zones and I know you're all from everywhere. So thank you for joining. Hi, Sandra is here. Hello. Hey Connie. Hello Turtle. <laughs> I like your name. All right. Hi Andy. Bondi. Okay, I'm waiting a second. Hi Turtle, tell me where you're from. Five step five. Titi's here. Yay, from Finland. Yeah, Turtle, tell me where you're from. It's fun a fun name. Jay's. <laughs> All right, we're just warming up as I'm waiting. North Carolina, yes, absolutely. Turtle Steps is a name. Oh, I didn't know that. The name of a place. North Carolina is such a beautiful place. I've been to the beach. I've been to the mountain over there. Hello, TT. Nice to have you. And Judy's here too from Boston. Here we go. The family's meeting. The whole family reunion. Let's see. Chukiri's here on the Facebook group. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Bosnia. Yay. Here we go. We have such a big group from Bosnia. Serbia, Croatia, and that's all thanks to Jelena, who is really sharing the words over there, all over the Balkans. Yes, hello. <laughs> hello, Gina. All right, fantastic. So tell me, do you have any questions? So let's, let's summarize a little bit for people who might be new here. Hello, thanks for the love. If you want to know more and especially get the, the recordings of the sessions, because we do some very, very intensive, awesomely high vibe sessions here and you might want to listen again. Well, I am recording myself on Facebook right now. We have this private Facebook group where there is a high vibe tribe. We reach 400 people, members and friends this week in that um, manifesting all possibilities place. So go where I am giving you this little link and join in the community if you resonate with it. I would love it. We are welcoming you in advance. There are tons of videos because I have one every day. Plus we just finished the 48 hour challenge. So you have about a week now that you can listen again. Hello, Marquette is here. Great. Nice to have you all over. Hey, and we have Atlanta. Yay. <laughs> all Matters Matter is here too. Families meeting. Yes, I feel the warmth. I feel the heat, the joy, all of that coming in. All right. So tell me, do you have a question? I'll be spending only one question, mostly. And then after that, we are going to manifest something. We are going to magnetize for one of you. So, um, and all of you will benefit anyway. More love, yes, okay, yay. Love is always the answer to everything. Loving your life, loving others, lo loving yourself. This is a great subject actually. Hey, Anita, yes. Could you tell how to decide which is higher decision for us if you have doubts? Okay, great. That's a good question. So when you have a decision to make and you have doubts, that means you're not ready emotionally, vibrationally. It's not ready yet. It's like a cake. You have not totally mixed all the ingredients yet. And yes, you don't know if you want to put it, you know, in this high type of cake or this other cake. So you have to wait a little bit and do some more of alignment. Go back to what do you want at the end of the decision. So if you have a decision to make, 
You want to feel something at the end. You want an experience. You want the experience of success, of joy, of freedom, of adventure, of abundance, of what is it that you're after in that decision, you see? So once you know what you're after, you want to tune a few more hours or days on that. Tune on the abundance. So if it's abundance, you know, you have a choice of career, for example. You have a choice of investment. You have a choice of just notice what you want to experience at the end. Tune more on it at the beginning. Do a magnetization like we're going to do and meditate to listen to your guidance. You can also, once you've done that, test out in your mind, you test out one decision fully. You just imagine, okay, I'm making that decision. How does it feel? You know, a month from now, a year from now, whatever, you can get a sense of what does it feel like. And, uh, and then you can try the other decision and then feel what it feels like. So one of them will feel better than the other, okay? That's when you have a guidance. Now, if the two feels the same, then, you know, there is nothing, uh, nothing special. That means both will lead to the same results. So, yes, so that's how you make a decision. First, you begin with the vibration. You tune into it more. You really feel what you want to create. You meditate, you quiet your mind, you see what you know what comes up you might have guidance there totally already and then if not you just tune into each one of the decisions and you test them out okay and you will see all right that's a good way to do that thank you so much you are welcome you're welcome let's see funny that you talk about decisions i have to decide until tomorrow if i take a new apartment or not and don't know what to do oh yes Bettina so feel yeah that's a good example for an apartment feel what you want to create at the end more beautiful environment peace what do you want exactly to experience in your life in an apartment what is it that you're after and tune into that and really feel that and magnetize it and then, um, yeah, let yourself feel into it more. But now you'll have a clarity. You'll have a very clear intention vibrationally. You know what you truly, truly want. You want a mixture of feeling safe, feeling good, having a beautiful place or something that's more peaceful or, and then tune into that and experience it. So it will help you. Freedom, you want more freedom. Okay, great. So tune into freedom more. And uh, within an hour, you know, you tune into freedom for five, 10 minutes. You write down about freedom, just freedom in general. You meditate, you feel into it and you'll get clarity. It's like, yes, this is the direction that feels like freedom. Or no, that doesn't feel like freedom. All right, you know, you'll be more clear on that. Ah, okay, Anita said you helped me a lot. Yes, career decisions. Okay, cool. Fantastic. So, <laughs> so tell me, now that we have talked about that, making a decision, see, let's, let's find out if there is anything I wanted to tell you. I don't think so there are always lots of things I discover um, but I want to hear from you what is it that you want to create what is it that you want to create let's see let's let's do a wouldn't it be nice experience so because it's the easy path you know when you don't know when you're a little too far away from what you want you want to begin gently and slowly it's like ramping up the vibration. And for that, wouldn't it be nice is the perfect ramp up. So how do you manifest callings that feel far away? Callings S, what do you mean by that? 
Now, how do you manifest to buy a house? Uh, if I am in the financial deficit, I would like to have my own house. Okay, great. That's a good question. I think it's kind of about training your subconscious mind. All right. So, how do you manifest to buy a house? Yes, that's a good example. So you have something that seems to be really far away. Okay, so whenever you think about buying a house, actually all the doubts, all the bungee cords in your back are a waking up and getting stronger. It's too specific right now. What you want is find out what you want about having your own house. How does it feel? Go to the feeling of it and tell me what do you truly want about having your own house? Tell me what's the feeling you want, you're after. Because it's the feeling that you're after. It's not the house itself. If the house doesn't give you what you want, you're not going to be happy. But buying a house for you as a meaning, as an essence. So what is it that you want? Tell me a little bit. If not, I'm going to invent it, <laughs> which I can do. Uh, so what you want? as a new house. What is it that you want? You want freedom, you want beauty, you want comfort, you want pride, of, uh, you want ownership, you want to feel comfortable, you want, what is it that you want? You see, everyone has a different, dist that's why we all choose different houses. Yes, what do you want? That's the question, how do you want to feel? I have a house. Just think about it. I have my own house. I wonder if it's a comfort, beautiful interior. Okay. So what I really, really want is comfort and beauty and something that feels so beautiful around me. An incredible, gorgeous environment where wherever I look, I feel good. I feel connected. I feel in alignment. I feel uplifted by the design, uplifted by the beauty. Yes. So what you truly want is a beautiful life and comfortable, beauty and comfort. So this is the step you're going to take. We're going to magnetize first beauty and comfort. Could be comfort first and beauty or could be both at the same time. Let's see what we get. And uh, once you magnetize that, then you are going to be closer and closer and ideas about things to do to get more beauty and comfort into your world will come to you and you'll be guided towards what you want. And at the end, you'll have a house that has comfort. And it might take months, you know, it doesn't matter because what you want is the feeling. So if you already produce inside of you the feeling of comfort and, and beauty, you're going to feel so fulfilled already that it really doesn't matter when this house comes because you have experienced it, you have tuned into it and you have activated those vibrations. And that's so delicious for you that it's fulfilling. It fulfills a deep need inside of you. That's why you need to know what is the need that you want to fulfill with a house. It could be anything else, but for you, it's comfort and beauty. All right. So, hey, Delena is here. Hello. So let's, let's do a mini magnetization for the house. And I'm going to do it with you. So now that I have an idea. We are doing the tree, okay? Let's do the leaves and the, the branches. And then we'll do the trunk, which is the summary statement. And then we'll do the root, which is the feelings. So for a new home. And you want to disconnect it from money. You want to disconnect it from any how questions. Ignore it completely. And let's go. So what do I truly, truly, truly want? What do I truly, truly desire as a home? I want, I want a home. I want a place that is so comfortable, so deliciously 
comfortable. It's warm, it's, it's, it's the perfect colors, it feels good, it feels like a nest, it feels like the perfect place for me. I can expand, I can, ex I can feel that I have plenty of room to grow and to do what I love and to have those rooms that can be specialized in different things, you know, one for my hobbies, when I have plenty of space and it's super comfortable. It's like the, the furniture is, is mine and it's chosen by me and it's, it's my favorite colors and my favorite shapes and my favorite softness and t it's just so comfortable. I love the, the art on the walls that are mine, that I chose this delicious intent of, of feeling good. I love all aspects of this house and it feels so good. It feels so relaxing. It feels like home. It feels like, yes, I'm comfortable and, and beauty is around me. Everywhere I put my, my eyes, I see beauty, beautiful little objects and gorgeous colors and shapes that I like and furniture that I love and all of those things makes me feel so good. I love to design my home, to make it so beautiful, to spend time with my home and, and to love it. And that's what I want. I want this beautiful nest where I feel so good and so comfortable and enjoy life to the fullest. And so the trunk now, I have the perfect, perfect place to stay. I don't have to even call it a home. Or I have my perfect nest. I have my perfect place. It's where I live. It's my home in terms of it doesn't have to be a house, it's my home. It feels like home. It feels like totally comfortable. So I have the perfect home and it feels like peace and it feels like serenity and it feels like I can relax. It feels like relaxing and safe and comfortable. It feels like pleasurable. It feels like I can relax in that space. It feels like there are can friends can come and we can have fun and joy and, and laughters and parties and it feels like I can do, be or have anything I want in that space. It feels like freedom, freedom to organize parties or to do things I like or freedom. It feels like painting the walls in any colors I prefer. It feels totally like freedom and it feels like joy and celebration and possibilities of having a family. It feels like safe and gorgeous and calm and peaceful and quiet and excited sometimes. It feels like joyful and laughters and creativity and possibilities. Yes, it feels so good to be in that home. Here we go. It feels like peace. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Feeling and wishes. Oh, fantastic. Here we go. So that was the theme of the day because really Bettina was looking for an apartment. You were looking for a home. That's the theme of, of being in comfort and being free and being in a beautiful environment where you're free to design it yourself or to to put the things you want around you. Thank you for the love. I appreciate that. So this is it. This is it. I feel just complete with that. Hmm. I want everyone, let's do the hug. It's going to be a short one today. I'm just getting shorter because more intense, more clear about the vibrations. And let's, let's send this feeling of having a home to everyone on this planet. 
I know oh, you just decided, but you know, my feeling says no, my head says yes. Yes, that definitely the difference. Go into your heart. Your heart is the answer. That's such a good, the heart is always the answer. The logic is, it doesn't know anything. The heart knows because it's connected to source. It's connected to infinite intelligence. It knows so much more. It knows the whole story. So the heart knows. And when you feel into it, that's the guidance. That's the guidance. Fantastic. <laughs> Here we go. Awesome. So I feel like everyone could benefit from this safe, beautiful, and comfortable place. So let's hug all around the planet together. I want to hold a hand in San Diego and another one with All Matters Matter in Atlanta. Yes, you're there. And then we are going to actually, North Carolina is here with us. So we're going to North Carolina after that. <laughs> All Matters Matter, just go to North Carolina. And then from North Carolina, we're going into the world let's see oh we have Tina from Finland so we have to go up to Finland directly I don't know if there's London here with us today so we'll just go to Finland just to change the lines go to Finland now from North Carolina you're holding the hand of Tina in Finland of Titi in Finland and in Finland we're going down to Bettina in Austria you're holding hands together and then from Bettina, you're going to hold in with Jelena in, in split Croatia. And if you are all around Croatia, all the Balkans to just join there. That's where Bettina is. And, uh, and then we'll go around the world. Well, yesterday we had someone from Africa, but I don't think this person is here today. So we'll just go all around into Australia. And we're stopping in Sydney and Sydney we're holding hand with New Zealand and in New Zealand and San Diego and now we are having this big circle around the world all together and we are full of of joy and of comfort and of peace and of beauty and I want to send all of you this feeling of home this feeling of security, of beautiful home and nest. And we are also sending it to everyone on this planet, to Mother Earth first. We love you, you're, you're the nest for us. You're so beautiful <laughs> and you're so awesome with us. Thank you, Mother Earth. And then we are sending love and comfort and security to everyone on this planet. We're anchoring right now today the feeling of comfort and beauty and security and freedom. All the feelings we have in our heart right now. A good home for everyone. A safe, beautiful home for everyone. And we are seeing this universe, this planet, with everyone smiling and happy to have this beautiful home. Natural setting very comfortable simple but beautiful all over the planet everyone is taken care of and i can see that it's a new planet today is 10 10 it's the beginning of new for everyone on the planet is the beginning of your dream it's time to step into the new you there is this big vortex of possibilities today of standing for a new place, a new thing in life, a new experience of beauty and of comfort for the entire planet and for yourself involved, all of us. We deserve it all. All right, and we have a good day for everyone. Love you all. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a fabulous day.